We're here at the 2017 Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day at South Point, brought to you by Metro Diner, where the locals eat. Arborview High Aggies, the next team, we've got Coach Dan Barnson alongside Diego Stubbs and Elijah Wade. Coach, another year, another time we're looking at our review and seeing where exactly they slide in at the very top, though, uh, year after year. How does it feel to have been a part of this uh, rise and have this program kind of at the top where it is right now? It's, it's exciting every year. I mean, we, 11 years ago now, if I would have known this was going to happen, um, I don't know if I'd have believed it. I really don't. A um, lot of good people who had their fingers in the pot, a lot of great coaches over the years, some of the guys that have come through and laid the groundwork for these guys and us now. Um, we're proud, we're very proud of what our reviews become. Uh, Diego, we've gotten used to seeing your number, uh, hearing your name on Friday nights, um, been at our review for a while contributing. What differentiates this year's team? Uh, I think we just bond better together and we're kind of closer with each other. I think uh, being closer together makes us play better on the field. Uh, Elijah, what do you see as some of the kind of uh, characteristics and, and mentality of the team going into this year? Pretty much the same thing as Diego said. We bond together more and as a team. And we're getting along better, obviously. Uh, coach, any new wrinkles? Anything we should uh, expect to see offensively or defensively? Oh, I think so. I think every year you got to bring in a certain percentage of newness, I guess you want to say. Um, I know last year, the last couple years with Hayden as the quarterback, um, he's kind of changed us a little bit. And we have some young guys now working out at the quarterback that we're going to continue to grow with that. Um, it works, and it changed us to the better. And we're not going to take a step backwards from that. So there'll be some new things that we're going to throw out there. Uh, as I kind of alluded to, both Elijah and Diego played a lot, have uh, really made a name for themselves. Yeah. What are you expecting out of these uh, two guys going into this? Um, leadership. I mean, from both of them, leadership. Um, play and lead by example. Uh, I mean, a lot of the guys look up to them. Um, they both have huge opportunities in senior years as well as for, for us at Arbor View, their senior year as well as and beyond. And, um, and they know too as well that they are who they are because of everybody else as well. Uh, the players, the coaches, the system. I know Diego himself actually played when he was a little kid in the Junior Aggies all the way through. And, and that's really, really cool that kids come all the way through our youth program all the way up. And it makes us proud. Uh, Diego, how do you look back on that whole experience and, and how did that help you coming up from such a young age to the program? Uh, it helped because like, I already know all the plays memorized, so I know where to run, I know where to cut, and it just makes it easier being an offense for a long time. For sure, and Elijah, I know one of the highlights of, of the offseason for all of our reviews, you going down to Alabama and kind of experiencing the, the whole camp. What was that experience like, and uh, what, what would you take out of it the most? Really the work ethic of those guys. I mean, you see them play every Saturday. You see the top team in the nation, but until you actually see the behind the scenes and the work that they put in, that's something I tried to take back to our review and try to implement with my D-line and also the whole defense and the team to try to get them with that outwork yesterday mentality. Uh, as I alluded to, you guys always at the top, have racked up a bunch of uh, league titles, made it far in the playoffs. Does it come with extra uh, pressure now, being with the success you guys have had? I don't think it comes with extra pressure because we all push each other to work hard every day. So the pressure, I don't think we feel it as much because we have a goal to work hard every day. And that's not going to change whether we, we win every game or don't. Everybody's going to work hard. I think guys work hard because they don't want to let each other down. They don't want to be that guy that lets their teammate down, the guy next to them. So, a little peer pressure when it comes to that. It's not a bad thing. Uh, I guess Coach Lassie, I'll ask you about the division. Uh, it seems like you, you guys have a lot of uh, kind of rivalry simmering. Yeah, so like every week you got a, a, a big game. What do you see as kind of the outlook of your league this year? I, it's, I mean, Northwest is always it's, it's an exciting league because there's some good teams. And, and it is. It's funny how over the years, the last five or six years, everybody that plays us, it's a rival game whether we're playing for a trophy or a, a fast food restaurant or just a street that we want to call our own. Um, and you know what? We take every one and it's important. And these guys know that it's important. Um, we expect people to be at their best when they play us every Friday night. And if we're not, someone's going to get us. But we're, we're going to show up every Friday night and play. All right, well, that's our review high. Always getting the best shot from everyone, but also uh, giving the teams that in return. This is the Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day.